<laughs> nice, Eileen. Uh, hello, Eileen. Hello, Harvey. How are you doing today? Hi, Fiona. Um, hello, Joshua Howell. Hello, Caleb Lai. Daniel, how are you doing today? Um, Bohan, what's up? How's it going? Hello, Jim Maldrip. Oh, my word. Levi Walters, hi. Hi, Lucy. Lucy Salo, how you doing? Mr. Craig. Oh, how does he pronounce his last name? Diggy? Hi. Hello, Brock. Hello, it's David. What's that? Go ahead. It's Craig Thigh. Thigh. It's okay. Thigh. The part of your leg. Hello, Mr. Thigh. Hello, Hannah S. Hello, Jackson. How are you doing today? Oh, nice airplane. He's a pilot. Got it. That makes more sense now. Any homework today? Yes, Daniel, there is a little bit. Um, well, kind of. It depends on how you use the time in class today. <laughs> Morning class, I've decided there'll be no homework today. Very funny. All right, guys, let us let us pray. Okay, Lord, thanks for today. Thanks for this time that we have together. Please help us to, um, boy, today, especially today, tomorrow, this week, actually, I guess, is is really a, a week of thinking, of refining, of um, being willing to say it's not precise, it's not quite there yet, and reworking it. So, Lord, I pray that we would think well today and that we would be humble as we try and refine what we are saying in our papers. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Well, so here we are, guys. Um, I, I did get started on the papers. Um, my, I almost said compromise. My commitment is to have them all finished by tomorrow. That's one week from when they were due. So I think that's okay. So um, I'll be finishing those today. And I also, this morning, started to look over some of your uh, the assignment that was due today, uh, which it wasn't due till class anyway, so I looked at some of them earlier. Um, just looking at your process of taking the thing that interests you about The Hobbit and beginning to work towards a thesis. Okay, so I want to start today with a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little, um, a little analogy. Okay, and the analogy is a funnel. All right, a funnel. Um, so if you have a lot of material, usually a liquid material, or it could be sand or something like that, or an hourglass, if you want to think about it that way, you have a lot of material and a funnel is shaped to come down to a point, right? And then at the bottom of the funnel, there's a little spout and out of that will, will flow or drip just a little bit of liquid at a time, right? So you can pour a lot of liquid into the top of the funnel, or maybe you're changing oil or something like that. You pour a lot of oil in, and it all collects in the big, broad part of the funnel. And then it, it points downwards and it narrows to one little channel or a little stream or a little drip comes out of. Okay. So that's where we are in our process. We read The Hobbit, and then we've talked a lot about what kind of ideas are in The Hobbit, what themes, what character development, you know, all of those things, okay? And what we're doing is we're moving slowly towards the narrowest point of the funnel where one little bit of liquid will, will stream out or drip out, okay? So that is really what we're doing this week. So I want to say a couple of things to you. Okay. Some of you have a lot to say. And your challenge is going to be saying one thing. Okay. Some of you don't have a lot to say. And your challenge is going to be coming up with enough to say about one thing. Okay. We are not 
quite at the phase where we are writing your papers yet. Next week, we'll have quite a bit of time in class even to talk about what a body paragraph is, what an introduction paragraph is, and to work on writing those. We really only have one goal this week. And that goal is to go all the way down to the tip of the funnel, no problem, the tip of the funnel, and make sure we know of all the things that we're thinking about The Hobbit, that we've noticed about The Hobbit, that we've even said about The Hobbit, that we're refining it down to one thing. Okay, now, what that one thing is by the end of this week, I guess by next week, technically, because you can work out on, it, on it over the weekend, is the thesis of your paper. And we're going to talk more tomorrow about specifically what a thesis is. But guys, please hear me. A lot of you think that your paper is ready to go right now. And for a few of you, that might be the case. I saw some of the work that you submitted. I haven't looked at all of it yet. That was due today. Some of you have some really good thoughts. But some of you need to continue to refine, to refine, to refine, to focus, 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 okay? Down to one specific thing. So um, let me share my iPad because it'll help uh, talk about what we're doing for this week. But again, if you wonder what are we doing this week, this week is all about focusing, 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 so that you are saying one clear, intelligent, defensible thing, okay? So Eileen, your homework for today is um, basically to be ready to be able to write your thesis tomorrow, okay? So it, like I say, it kind of depends on what we do in class. If we do a lot of this in class today, then there won't necessarily be homework. But if, if we don't, then you'll have to do it tonight. Okay. Um, well, but be ready with particular things in place. Okay. So here's what we're doing this week. And this slideshow um, from research to writing, um, I've, I've uploaded to ClassReach. So you can see these. Uh, it'll be especially helpful like tomorrow when we start talking about the thesis. Okay. Um, so today our goal is to, um, develop your thoughts on your subject. Okay. We're going to do that in class and to research quotations. Some of these you might already have, you might already have the quotations and it's just a matter of making sure you, you have them. But for some of you, the direction that your paper is going is not necessarily something that you wrote down quotations about. Remember, for the paper, you have to have two, you're going to have to have two quotations. Okay. So part of your homework or time in class today will be going back and saying, look, I know that, that they talked about this in chapter three. I don't have a good quotation. I'm going to go back. I'm going to find the quotation. Okay. That matches what I'm going for. So I should have put these in a different order. The first thing we're doing today is developing the thoughts on the subject of your paper. And then the second thing is find some specific quotations that match up what you're talking about in this paper. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about what a thesis is, and we're going to write a first draft of it. And that'll be due on Wednesday. Okay. On Wednesday, we'll continue to work on your thesis. And guys, well, I'll say that afterwards. And then Thursday in class, and then for homework, if you can't, you're going to write the final thesis statement and we're going to outline, you're going to outline your essay using the quotations and evidence that you have found. Okay. Now, if you'll notice, guys, there are two days where it says develop your thoughts, continue your thoughts on your topic. Okay. The reason for this is this is the work of the paper. This is the hardest part of the paper. And, and you're not going to believe me. And I'm going to say things like, nope, that's not good enough. You're not being specific here. You're not being accurate here. You're not talking about why it matters here. And some of you are going to get a little frustrated. Can I say, no, it's not clear. It's not good enough. It's not accurate enough. It doesn't show why it matters, that sort of thing. And you're going to be like, yeah, but what I had was good enough. You might not say that, but you'll be thinking that. So everyone eyes up here. I'm going to say it again. 
This is the hardest part of the paper, insisting that it be clear, that it matter, and that it have evidence, okay? So we have basically a day and a half or two, okay? A day and a half or two full days for this process because it's not necessarily natural, okay? All right, so that's where we're going. But just be ready, guys, be ready. Go into this, even say to yourself right now, I'm willing to admit that my topic, that my thesis is not quite as good as it should be. It's not specific enough. It's not, you know, whatever it is, okay? I'm willing to admit that thinking and coming up with an idea is hard work, right? And don't give up. And don't give up. Just because it's hard work and something that we're not used to doing doesn't mean it's not important. This is really, really important. Yeah, Daniel, and an assignment will definitely be posted for this one. Okay, um, I can post something for this too. I haven't yet, but I can. Okay. All right, so here we go. You have already decided um, the topic of your paper, right? And that's, again, that's part of the funnel. You've said, I'm gonna talk about this and not this, okay? And so your, your funnel is getting narrow, all right? Uh, this will not change for the rest of your essay unless something really crazy happens, this is the direction you're going in, okay? This is the direction that you're going in, okay? However, a topic is not the same thing as a thesis, okay? A topic would be like, I'm going to write a paper about birds, not about, in, uh, not about um, mammals, right? You've narrowed it down, but then you still need to be more and more and more specific. So you have one thing that you're saying, right? So your goal today, tomorrow, and Wednesday is to narrow this topic down so that you can make it, guys, you're going to hear me say this all the time, clear and defensible. It needs to be really clear what you're saying, and it needs to be a point that you can defend from The Hobbit, okay? Again, about what's going on in The Hobbit. So just to be clear, we're not talking about things that are going on in Middle Earth in general or that connect to the other Lord of the Rings books, it's from The Hobbit and it needs to be clear and defensible, okay? I wanna spoil just a little bit here and look at thesis because this is gonna help your thinking today. Your thesis statement should include two parts. What are you saying and why, why it matters, okay? So what is the claim that you are making about the text? This is why I say it needs to be clear. It needs to be a sentence. It needs to be really, really obvious. It can't be, I'm saying it's good to be courageous, right? That's not, that's not specific, okay? And you're making a claim of why we should care. Why is your claim important, right? It's one thing to say in The Hobbit, Tolkien shows that Bilbo develops as a character. Okay, that's, I guess that's kind of clear. That's what, okay? But why? You want to say something about why it matters. How does that affect life? In The Hobbit, Tolkien shows that Bilbo started out as a coward, um, but ended up courageous. Okay, that matters to us now. We can learn from that. We can learn from that, right? The, the why question is, why does it matter that we should read what Tolkien says about what you're writing about, okay? Well, usually the way it matters is how it would teach us something or show us something, right? Oh, Bilbo became more courageous. I can become more courageous too. So these are the two things that you're thinking about. What are you saying and why does it matter, okay? Okay. So to say it all one more time, what, what am I saying that Tolkien is saying and how can I defend my opinion? That's the goal for today, okay? What am I saying that Tolkien shows us in The Hobbit and how, what evidence can I bring to bear to defend my opinion, okay? So that's the goal for Monday. Monday's goal is this question right here. What is Tolkien saying? specifically, and how can I defend what I think he's saying, okay? Um, 
All right. So essentially your homework is to be able to answer these questions by tomorrow. Your homework, but we're gonna spend a good period of the class time today working on this. What claim am I making about the book? What am I saying? What am I saying about The Hobbit? Okay. Why should we care? What part of life do I think Tolkien is addressing? And what evidence do I have to support it? And this might be a couple of bullet points. Boom, boom, boom. But these should each be a sentence. A really well-considered, clear, specific sentence. Okay? Uh, goodness, I think that's Levi. Go ahead. How did you know? I know my my avatar of you looks better. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so this the homework is to answer these three questions in a sentence each that's specific and brief. Yes, although this one this one might be bullet points, right? It might be the list of your quotes or your evidence, right? So number okay. three won't necessarily be one sentence, but these two one specific, clear, brief sentence. Okay, now getting to a specific, clear, brief sentence might take a little while. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time right now. And then I want to see what you're, what you're thinking. And I'm going to work with you to help you refine it. Guys, don't be surprised if I say not a bad start, but it's not there yet. Okay. And I'll give you some feedback. Okay. So you want to, you want to be able by class tomorrow. If, if your mom was to ask you, what are you saying in your paper? You need to be able to just, in a sentence, say, this is what I think Tolkien is saying, right? And then if she said, well, that's strange, why does that matter? Because we all need to be courageous, and Tolkien is showing us how to be courageous. Or because we all um, get scared in life, or be, you know, whatever it is, right? Because we all have conflict, and we all want to matter to people, and Tolkien shows us how far we should take that wanting to belong. I didn't even talk about like there's there's a great theme in The Hobbit of Bilbo trying to fit in with the group and he does things that he never would have done to fit in. And then at the end, when it matters, he's like, whoa, I can't be part of the group because you're asking me to cross a line that's too far. And so I'm taking the Arkenstone and I'm, I'm not with you guys anymore. Right. That's an incredible theme there. OK, that matters in life. So lots of stuff. OK. So about 10 minutes right now, okay? I just want to see how it goes. I don't want to just send you out and have you waste the time. I want you to be focused. About 10 minutes to try and do this. If you, if you have a good attempt at these first two, I want to see them. You can send them in the chat to me, okay? And then you want to find specific evidence. For your paper, you must have two quotes, two quotations. So if you don't have two good quotes, but you know in the book where it talks about that, then you're going to spend some time looking through your book. If you have a quote, but you didn't write down the page number, then now would be a time to go find that too. Okay. So your, your whole goal is what am I saying and how can I defend it? Okay. So about 10 minutes now to do that. I want to hear from you. So if you type a sentence, send it to me, don't necessarily move on to hear until you sent me this part, okay? So it can be interactive. You can put stuff in the chat to me, but it's also gonna be a bit of individual work right now, okay? So that's what we're doing now. And I'll put this in class reach right now while I, while I set you guys to work for a bit um, so that you guys know specifically what you're doing and when it's due. Oh, sorry, one other thing I wanna say. This is just a general writing tip and it's gonna sound harsh, but it's, it's true. The first thought or idea or attempt that you have, type it and then push enter and start over. Cause that, don't delete it. Don't ever delete anything when you're writing, but that's probably not focused and refined enough. So type it and then say, is this clear? Is this specific? Is this really what I wanna say? And then try it again and do that a couple of times before you send me something, okay? All right.
You do not need to restate the uh, question, Lucy. Um, give me one second. Whichever Michael Belt just directed that direct message that to me, I'll, I'll look at it and and just yeah, Levi, like one second. Guys, the claim should be somewhere in your uh, kind of topic that you wrote the paragraph for today. If you're writing about character, your claim should not be about something that's not character related, right? Like I, I just want to make sure that's clear. You're taking what you sent. I'm writing about character. I'm writing about whatever it is. And now you're getting more focus. Don't give me a sentence that's about something entirely different than what you wrote your paragraph about for today. Okay, so now I'll start looking through this. Um, Okay, Levi, I think yours is pretty clear and direct. Um, I don't think it'll be too hard, but try and try and answer the question like, why does that matter? Why is that worth writing a paper about, right? But I think you're on the right track there. No, Sam, um, we'll st we're still going to refine what you're working on today into a thesis statement. So what you want to say today is what am I saying about the book? I'm saying that, you know, Tolkien shows that, that, that I'm saying that um, Tolkien shows us that greed can destroy even an entire nation, right? I'm not saying that's what you're saying, but like you want a specific thing that you think Tolkien is saying in the book. That's the first step. Um, and then you want to talk about a sentence about why that matters. Why does that matter to write about that or to notice that in Tolkien's book? Once, once you have clear statements about that, then you can start talking about the evidence that supports it. Um, Daniel, for now, they don't have to be. The quotes do not have to be like introduced in sentences just yet. You just want to have the pieces of evidence. Yeah, Eileen, I'm looking at yours now. Okay, good. So Eileen, you have a um, you have good ideas, but you want to refine those into one sentence, not just all of that with a whole bunch of commas and semicolons. Okay, so you've gone from like here to here, and I'm asking you to go even 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 more specific that's a good that's a good quote I think. okay good okay so if you know let me see here um
you know, I'm going to ask you a question that you might think is a little bit nitpicky, but it, I think it'll help you know what you're writing. Um, you say Tolkien is telling a story about Bilbo finding his courage. Is that specific word finding? Is that, and I'm not saying it shouldn't be. I'm just asking, is that what you want to argue? Uh, is Tolkien saying Bilbo finds it like he finds the ring or does he develop it again? It's your argument. I just want you to know what you're saying. Does he develop it? Does he, um, you know, does he grow in his courage? Uh, because that will, is it, is it kind of, it happened to him by happenstance and, and luck and fate, according to Tolkien? Or was it something intentional? Um, and I, that's actually quite a big difference in what you want to argue. Again, no right answer there. Just something to think about what you're saying there. Claim the book is about heroism. So whichever Michael Bel Belch is writing me about heroism, um, good. I think that we can we can be more specific. I think Tolkien is trying to show us that we need to sacrifice for others. Um, so just right off the bat there, you, I think you're thinking it, but you're not actually saying it. So is sacrificing for others related to heroism? If that's what you think Tolkien is saying, then you need to make sure you say that and not just assume, oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you need to, your sentence should include that connection. Tolkien is showing us, you know, I'm not going to write it for you, but you need to write that connection into the sentence. Um, so again, keep refining it, keep being specific. Sam, go ahead. Um, so I have a question. So like, uh, so just like on my opinion, what I think, what I think about the book, like, I think, let's say, um, could I say like the Hobbit in the Hobbit Tolkien shows, um, shows connections with the Bible or like in the Hobbit, I believe token um i don't know i guess i just don't really understand that very well like that's okay i understand what you're i hear what you're saying and i and i know exactly what you're saying and i it's possible that the reason is you need to just kind of think through what exactly am i saying is going on here you know, and you could start brainstorming a couple of things and then say, oh, I think I'm saying that some of this is discovering what you think you're saying. Um, but it sounds like you have some ideas that are just kind of formed, but you need to say, OK, wait, what am I actually saying? And like I said at the beginning, that is a, uh, a difficult process. So if you're in that kind of I'm not sure what I'm saying, that's where you should be. That's OK. I know it's not I, I can't fix it for you, though. You have to figure out what you're saying. But you're going for one specific sentence that says Tolkien is saying this in The Hobbit. What is he saying? And again, there's no right answer necessarily. But you have to maybe start a list, jot some things down, and keep keep coming back. Is that what Tolkien is saying? Is that what Tolkien is saying? Eileen, you said this is a little while ago. Now I'm behind in the chat. It says it shows Bilbo to be good character while Thorin is greedy and has poor character. Is that the sentence that you're, that you think Tolkien is saying? Okay. Got it. Um, oh, let me say one other thing, guys. Um, so everyone stop what you're doing and look up here. Cause this is, to me, it's very important. It's very important in growing to become, you know, young men and young women. Um, we live in a society right now where it is, almost outrageous to simply state a claim clearly. So I really, in this paper, would like you all to avoid using the phrase, I think, or I believe. You are writing the paper. So I know it's what you think, right? Don't be afraid to say, to make a claim. Tolkien is saying this. He proves it this way. He shows it this way. When you say, I think he's doing this, 
he might be doing this. I believe he's doing this. It makes, because you're making an argument, right? And it makes your argument sound weak and unpersuasive. So in the brainstorming and, and whatnot, it's fine, but you're making the claim. We know it's what you think. I know it's what you think. Don't keep telling me, I think, I think, I think all over and over and over again, okay? All right, let me catch up on some of these. Harvey, um, talking about friendship that grows. Okay, good. So Harvey, you're still kind of at the idea phase. You need at least, at least I'm, I'm back a ways where you said I'm writing about friendship that grows with the dwarves um, through the development of Bilbo's character. What are you saying Tolkien is saying about this? What is Tolkien saying about it? Okay. So I'm looking at Sam, yours again, which is before you asked your comment. Uh, Sam, does Tolkien show his own imagination in the book or is he showing something about one of the imaginations of one of the characters? Because that's pretty general and pretty vague. It's it, You need to make it more specific. Well, go ahead, Sam, sorry, go ahead. Sorry for talking out of the way. But um, I was, okay. was going to say like, um, one of the reasons I heard this, I saw this, I was like, one of the reasons why he wrote the book was he had the idea of a hobbit like this hobbit in a hole, right? And he wanted to learn more about that hobbit. So he wrote the whole story to figure out about the hobbit. And so when I was, I was thinking like, I was thinking like, he knows just as much as we do when we just started reading the hobbit, right? When he like, okay, let me reward that. Like when I was reading the hobbit, I was thinking like, I was trying to go through like what was Tolkien thinking of when he was writing this because he was trying to figure out and want he wanted to learn more about the Hobbit and the story of the Hobbit while he was writing it, you know. So I don't know. I think that's going to be difficult for this paper because we're not this in this paper we're not really looking at other sources, and and the whole idea of that paper is something that you found in a different source. So. I think you want to limit it to just what's in the book for this paper. Yeah. Harvey, go ahead. So you said, uh, I want to say why Tolkien is saying it in my for question one or for question two, or am I trying to answer both those questions in one sentence? Like, no, no, no. You can have making... for now. You can have two sentences. Uh, I was talking about your first sentence. I'm writing about friendship. Okay. What I'm saying is that's still kind of a theme. That's not. Tolkien says this about friendship. Like, Harvey, what does he say about friendship? What are you writing okay. about that Tolkien says about friendship? What is it that he says about friendship? Okay. Yep. Um, okay, I think this is Levi. We should go outside of our comfort zone. Um, Levi, it's good to say that we should go outside of our comfort zone, but if you want something to matter to someone, like if I say to you, you should write a literary analysis paper. That's not as helpful as if I try and say to you, uh, this is how to write a literary analysis paper, right? So I think as far as it mattering, Levi in class, it's maybe a little bit more significant if you can say, Tolkien shows us this about friendship, not just that we should have friends, but here's a lesson that he gives us. Oh, that matters to me now. I can take that. And hmm, yeah, I should have friends, but I shouldn't let them drag me too far. That's that's a helpful why it matters more than just we should have friends or we should go outside of our comfort zone. Yeah, uh, go ahead, Levi. So I have a second one I just sent you. Okay, let me look down. Uh, I just fixed it up because I had a new idea. Then I sent you another message. I see that. Yeah. I see that there. Um, okay, about Bobo's characters. That's 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 going to change kind of the direction of your paper, which is fine at this point. Um, and again, I, again, the question that you want to ask is how does it show that, right? How does it show that? But that's an interesting question. Go ahead. I, I basically shortened it since it's, it was a brief, but I, then I had more mm -hmm. like reasons why. Good. Yeah. So you're just going to have to really stick to how, how, okay. I'm going to try and get through some of these a little quicker guys. Um, 
Got the book Tolkien saying, Lucy, I'm looking at yours now. Saying that we all must learn to have courage. Just like okay, Lucy, yours is getting closer, but I'm going to say a similar comment to what I said to uh, Harvey just a second ago, maybe. Um, throughout the book, Tolkien is saying that we all need to have courage. It is true that he's saying that, but but what is he saying about how to have courage, right? What does Tolkien say? Like, it's not as specific to say we should have courage as, as it is to say Bilbo had courage by dot, 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 right? Um, so guys, be, be as specific as you can because you, your, your quotes and your reasons should be able to support this. Rarely, uh, you might find a, a quote in this book where Tolkien basically says people should be courageous. But if you show how Bilbo became courageous, you'll have lots and lots of examples of that. Um, so keep keep refining that a little bit, Lucy, to like, how does Tolkien show us or or what specifically, like, why should we have courage, right? Come up with a specific thing. I'm saying that Tolkien says we should have courage because if we don't, dot, 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 right? Really, really specific and, and not, not general. Bohan, Tolkien is telling us through the book that selflessness is an important characteristic. Okay, so Bohan, same comment. I don't disagree that he's saying that, but you need to be more specific. What exactly is he saying? Or why ought we to be selfless? How does he show that? What are the examples? It's a bit general still for yours, Bohan. Ah, Eileen, so your, your new one. It's like a compare and contrast. I like that. Um, as long as you know specifically how you're going to show that, right? Um, like I would, I, I leave, you could pick one thing, which is, I'm not saying you should do this, but an example would be like susceptibility to greed. If you can compare and contrast them on a specific point or one or two specific points, that's going to keep you from just being overly general. Daniel, looking at yours and my essay, I'll discuss whether or not it will change for the better or for the worse. Um, Daniel, that's a good theme. But at this point, I want you to be able to say, Tolkien is saying it was good for Bilbo to change because of this. Like you need to be able to specifically say what it is that you think Tolkien is saying. So you're still in the one that you sent me there. It's still a bit general. Now is the time, guys, to make your case, right? I'm saying this, this is my flag, I'm planting it here, and that's what I'm going to argue for the rest of it. Uh, Eileen, it wasn't so much that it was too long. I'm just saying I think you could still be more specific. Uh, it can have an opinion, but your opinion has to be about what Tolkien says. Ah. Uh. Eileen, let me ask you a question here. Do you, do you think you can prove that Tolkien is trying to help us identify wise and good leaders? I think you might have a hard time backing that up. It's a, it's a story more than it's a manual. So maybe you can't, maybe you can't. Just something to think about. Showing us that Bill has courage, but does not believe he does. That's an interesting idea. Whoever said, I claim that Bilbo is showing us that Bilbo has courage, but does believe he does. Um, okay, but what, why does that matter? Oh, my iPad went away. That's okay. Um, Bilbo has courage, but does believe he does. Um, that's an interesting idea. Bilbo has courage, but does not believe he does. So you're saying it's there the whole time. So, okay. Then I guess what I would want to ask you is, I think you can be more specific and direct by, by saying Tolkien shows that Bilbo has courage, but not like, like what does Tolkien show us about that? How does, how does that, does Bilbo end up finding the courage? Obviously, yes, but your sentence needs to, to say what you're, what you think Tolkien is saying about this. It's a little bit vague just to say he, he doesn't think he has courage, but he does. 
So why, why do you think Tolkien is telling us that? Right? What is that? What does that matter? What is Tolkien telling us um, if if he's presenting this character that discovers that he actually is courageous? Okay. Hannah. Good. So, but Hannah, you say I'm writing about Tolkien showing us how Bilbo gains courage. Tell me, what is Tolkien saying about Bilbo gaining courage? Right? Like specific direct sentence. Okay, but Levi, you need to you need to maybe pick a specific example or something. Like keep making it more specific. All of Christian life is he, you know, is he talking about tithing? Is he talking about faith? Is he talking about, you know, dealing with government? Like there's a lot of Christian life. What are you saying Tolkien is saying? And you have to you have to focus it down to just one or two things. I saw that Eileen. Um, friend, okay, Harvey, I'm looking at yours. Yours is better. Is your, yours is getting better, Harvey? Okay, um, you know, just it's going to depend on if you can um, bring us to the why it matters. Okay, the Eileen, that's interesting. Um. Again, you have to argue that that was what Tolkien was saying. Yeah, but that's that's interesting. Um, okay, so yeah, Harvey, I see that. Um, uh, Tolkien is saying Bilbo's friendship grows through change of character, time, and effort. Um, Okay, Harvey, that you can work with that. You're going to have to do a little work to say why it matters to some degree, but but that'll that'll work for now. Okay, Daniel, good. And then just that's such a perfect place to add a couple of of reasons. In my essay, I will discuss the Tolkien and Bilbo to change for the better. How? Like, give us specifics. You know, it can be a little bit of a longer sentence. It's okay. But what do you mean? Like, how does he change for the better? What What does that mean? Like, tell us. Tolkien says, because he ends up being courageous, he changed for the better or that sort of thing, right? Um, since he shows them. Okay, Idly, that's fine. Fair enough. You defended that. He shows that I can point out what he's doing with them. Okay, good. Okay, good, Bohan, that's better. Uh, Tolkien is telling us that selflessness is needed for a character to be a good hero. We should care about this because Tolkien is showing, good. Okay, um, Bohan, it's still a little bit vague, so you're gonna have to work in your thesis to just have your specific examples, like, because because the, the, the paper is not gonna talk about all, selfless, um, all selflessness, but if you add your examples and your evidence, then I think you'll be okay. All right, Lucy, let me see here. Throughout the book, Tolkien is telling us. Um, well, Lucy, let me, um, I'm going to keep probing on this a little bit. So yes, it's better, but it, I think it's still, we have a little work to do with it because first and foremost, we have to say what Tolkien is showing us in the story, right? Now, there might be a lesson for us, but you want to show like in the book, where or through whom or in what way is he talking about growing in courage right so you could say something like yeah throughout the book tolkien uses bilbo's growth in courage or shows how bilbo grows in courage um through this interaction this interaction this interaction to communicate to us that we should have courage also but what what you did was you came up with a good why it matters but you got a little bit away from, we have to look at the book, right? So what is he showing in the book about that? Yeah. There's the different leaders and results of their actions, whether good or bad. On the journey. Okay. Yeah, Eileen, I think that's, I think that's going to probably be good. Um, just remember when we make it a thesis statement, it'll refine even more. So 
Yeah. Okay, so if that is Evan, Tolkien is telling us Bilbo has courage, just needs to find it. Um, I would I would go ahead and tell us how, right? Give us a little bit of the in the story. Um, Bilbo finds his courage by dot 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 dot. Um, or in the story, Bilbo realizes through this that he had courage the whole time, or something like that. Be a little bit more focused on what the book actually tells us. Right now, you're kind of giving the moral, which is good to think about. But again, what does the book show us about it? So give us a little bit of that in your sentence. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I can I can share the screen, guys, but it's also in class reach. So I'll share it real quick. Uh, but those exact questions that were on the, the slide are in class reach. Okay. Um, Daniel, let me give you a comment on yours real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and start wrapping up the class, and then I'll, I'll talk about yours. Um, so do you guys see this yet? You see that? Okay. All right. So guys, like I said, it can be kind of hard to narrow this down. So you want it specific. You want it to be about what the book is saying, not just your own idea, not just the moral of the story. How does Tolkien show that it's what's going on, right? Um, and you want it to be clear. So it, this process, I hope, let me give a major pause in the entire semester. It's important that you write a literary analysis paper, but it's more important that you learn to think and question what you just said and refine what you just said and go back and say, was that good enough? Was that really what I meant? Was that clear? That's really the goal. The literary analysis paper, a five paragraph essay, those are, are just tools to teach you how to think and communicate clearly. So the paper matters, obviously the grade on, that you get on the paper matters, but why you're doing this is so that later in life, you can interrogate yourself, question yourself, refine what you're saying to be exactly what you mean and have it be convincing and uh, important, okay? So that's why we do this. I know it's a pain, I always go back, okay, it's not quite good, it's not quite good, it's not quite good. But that will make you good thinkers and good communicators, which is part of what God has called you to be. So that's why we're doing this. Okay. Let me close us in prayer for now. And I'm going to make comments on two more comments that just came in. Um, so Daniel and Evan, stick around if you want those comments. Um, have this ready for tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'm going to say, okay, it's still not clear enough. Okay. That's going to be the process tomorrow. Still refine it. All right. So let's pray. Lord, thanks for today. Thanks for your help and for making us people who can think clearly. Um, all things take work, even our thought and our writing. So Lord, I pray that we would just commit to becoming um, always better and better thinkers, better and better communicators. And help us to be that, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, Lucy asks if you need to submit it. Yeah, please. I do want to see it. Yeah, I do want to see it. Okay. Daniel, you said, am I able to discuss Tolkien and Bill? That's much better, Daniel. That's specific. It's in the book and it's showing why it matters. Okay. That's good. Uh, Evan, in the story, Bilbo finds his courage by fighting spiders. Okay. Um, okay. Evan, that's not bad. I think you're probably going to use other examples or are you just going to focus the whole paper on spiders? Go ahead, Levi. I feel like I'm mind blanking on how to uh, how to come up with evidence to support it. Uh, so examples of it or quotes that back it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, that's what I figured. Okay, that's fine, Evan. Then then maybe better off just to say through the various um, things that he has to overcome. I may have forced you to be a little bit too specific. There. I just, my point was you need to be talking about 
the book and not just your own idea. So if you want to say like through the adventures or through the various, you know, however you want to say that, you can make that a little more general. Okay, cool. All right. Any other questions for me, class? Okay. All right. I'm going to head out then. I'll talk to you all tomorrow.